Hello, good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Nice. And you? All right, here in another place because there is a party in the neighborhood and I need to avoid the noise. Good evening, teacher. Sí, es cierto, siento el lado aquí. Vale, me cae el chumpo, por favor, me cae el suelo. Era el papito de la Hoy con nada, no sé qué lo hago, no nos sirve. Teacher. Hello. Pensé que estaba dormido. Oh, I'm here, I'm here. Not sleeping. Are you sleeping, teacher? No, 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 no. I'm, yes, I'm just in my, my life. No, no, habla. Ni siquiera no recuerda la clase anterior. Jesus. What I do? Okay. As I told you before, I'm in a different place today because in the, in the play that I, I used to do it, uh, there is a uh, high interference because there is a party in the neighborhood and the noise is really, it's really heavy, you know? But I'm Dios here. Dicho que nos yeah. <laughs> Somebody is celebrating birthday. And for that reason, there is a, it's a group playing music. But we are here, yes, trying to do our best. Welcome, Blanca, Elmer, and the rest that they don't have the, your camera. You need to do on your cameras, please. No sé si es que están dormidos. Para ah, nada. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Eh, ahí el detalle. Es que le voy a ser sincera, yo vengo como 10 minutos para las 8 de mi trabajo, entonces tengo que cenar. <risa> Porque oh. ya cenar después de las 10 de la noche no se puede. Uf, es difícil, sometimes, you know. Bueno, well, what we can say about it. Luis Alfonso Martínez, how are you, sir? I am fine, teacher, and you? Okay, right here, just trying to do our best. Yes, yes. I'm waiting, waiting for the class this night, okay? Okay, 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 okay. What about, let me see, Ana Judith Portillo. Uh, okay, is there? Hello, Ana Judith. How are you? Nice, yes, waiting. It's raining there. Yeah, say what, excuse me? It's raining there. Not raining today, but yeah, it was raining, uh, like, let me see, 20 minutes before the class. But in this area, most of the day, uh, get raining. 
Jesus, the power went off. Se me fue la energía. Damn. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm going to sleep I right know. now or? <laughs> well, you did say that. Teacher, uh, do your microphone, do your microphone, teacher. Micro, microphone. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Teacher, uh, se fue para la fiesta. Tuve un, apagón de, tuve un apagón de energía y se me desconectó el internet. Es posible que esté lloviendo quizás en una ciudad cerca. Eh, lo, les decía al inicio que generalmente en este lugar donde vivo siempre casi llueve. Entonces uh, eso afecta mucho la, eh, el fluido eléctrico y la señal del internet. But let us try to do it now, please. No parties, no parties. Okay, I'm, I'm ready teacher. for the class. Hello? Okay, teacher, a question, okay? You're living in Cerro Verde? No, sir. No. I don't live in Cerro Verde. And where do you live, teacher? But I live uh, close to the mountain, yeah. But with, the, with this a specific place. <laughs> I know that you are eager to know where I live. <laughs> department. Which, department, department, teacher. I live department. in the department in the east area of El Salvador. Where is the east area? I live in El Granero de la... I live in El Granero de la República de El Salvador. Ulsulután. Yes, sir. For that reason, right here, uh, the rain ends on time is really heavy, you know? Teacher, que lejos vive? Yeah, far away, far away. Okay, let us start far. the far away. The raining is starting now. Está comenzando la lluvia muy fuerte otra vez. Así es que les pido que si de repente nos desconectamos, haremos hacerlo lo más pronto posible. Porque la lluvia viene igual y a la misma hora. Así es que I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. I can't control that, you know? It's out of my control. Está fuera de control. Ok, esperemos no nos vayamos a quedar ahí hablando, aunque sí se siente muy fuerte. Uh, let, let's try to win this. Ok, we are going to talk about step to write a formal email. This is our conference number 13. Today we are going to talk about email. Okay. Uh, let me see. Well, let's talk about it. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Do you send emails every day? How can you tell me about it? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, should email be free on? Brief teacher. Should email be brief or long? And the third question say, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Uh, 
I don't understand the question. What is the do meaning? Not, of... not, do not, do do not. Sorry, do not. Okay. Uh, the first question said, envía email todos los días. Sí, cada día. Yes, in my case. Yes, teacher. Okay. In your case, in your case, yes, okay. In my case. Should email be brief or long? Deberían los emails ser cortos o largos? What do you think about it? Depends, depends the case. Okay, you say that depend on. Okay. Well, depend, depending information in has the email. Okay. Okay, what about the third question? You mentioned three tips to write effective email. Don't say, don't, don't say picture or imagine. Uh -huh. See. Okay, what else? Don't, is the good connection? A good connection. Okay. Um, what else? Only. Only that. Only okay. that. Okay, somebody else want to say something about this? Just tell me, please. Can you hear me very well? Yes or not? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, because I already told you that it's raining. It is raining here. For the reason I need to use my microphone and my headphones too. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody else want to say something about this, please? No? You don't want a to? A good computer, a good equipment. Ah. Okay, it, it is necessary to have a good computer. Okay, yeah. what else? What else do we need in order to send an email? Tell me. Well, hello. Me teacher or other, other student. Okay, the, somebody wants to talk. Just a volunteer, please. I'm still waiting. Teacher, in the book, in the book, there, there are some, some, uh, Some indication how send emails. Yes, it one, is. One, one, one day is he does not use our capital. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Abide, okay. abide, abide, present the substituted important use a formal salutation, be brief. Okay, we're gonna talk about it later on. Yes, they. Yeah, okay, I need that you take a look at this picture that I have here. Just tell me if you are able to see it, please. Tell me. Okay, can you see it very well? Yes, yeah, I can. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 this is an email. We had the subject line. Right here, thank you to assist account executive interview. And right, right here we have a, the greeting. This, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, the length of, of the email. And if you can take a look at this size, we, we are not going to use a, a emoticons. We need to avoid in professional emails. 
And at the same time, we need to take care of us, uh, the spelling and the grammar too. And also uh, when we talk about font and style, we need to use uh, the right kind of letter in order to write emails, you know? We are going to avoid ornate, playful, or color fonts because it's, it's something uh, serious, you know? Okay. What else can you tell me about this, please? This is just kind of an example. But let me show you something else because in that way you are going to get familiar. Let me see where I have it. Oh, I got it here, I got it here. How often do you write an email? For example, if I ask you, uh, what about this day? Do you remember how, how many emails did you send? Or received, do you remember that? This, uh, email, in my day, exactly the number? No, but yeah. it is, 20 or okay. 30. Okay, 20. Okay. In, in day, every day. Okay, in a day, in a day. In a day. Okay. What about the rest? What can you tell me about it? Tell me. In my case, I do not send emails, teacher, only my secretary. Oh, okay, okay, that is good to know, yeah. Okay, your secretary, do it. Yeah, okay, okay. Per, per, uh -huh. uh, in my case, I, I, I say I say to secretary, what, what say, what do you say in the, in the, in the emails? Okay, the message. Uh, uh, I, 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 sign, I, I sign, I sign the email too. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. And that's, I'm not sure it's uh, in an electronic way or is uh, you need to scan for what you are going to send. Yeah, tiene una firma electrónica o? O lo, o lo imprime y lo escanea y luego lo envía. How do you do it? Uh, no, teacher, no, teacher, I sing electronic. Excuse me, I, I, I can hear you very well. I don't know what. Uh, I, 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 I have a sign electronic teacher. Okay, 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 okay. I like that, I like that. Okie dokie. Let us take a look at this, please. It's just on, only to refresh your memory how we are going to write effective emails. Oops. Teacher, Hello. emailing is email in plural. Emails. Email. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. The first question could be, what is an email? And how to make an effective email? At the same time, we, can, we can talk about a few common email habits that cause problem. And the structure of email, the styles, and other important aspects that we need to take into account. Okay. If we try to answer this question, we are going to say that email as a tape-based mail send via the computer from one person to another using the technology. 
and how to make an effective email. I know that you have some experience in order to talk about this topic. And before to show you the slide, I, I would like to have some ideas what you use to, in order to, to create effective emails. What can you tell me about it, please? ¿Qué me pueden mencionar de cuando ordenan que se envíe un email? Tell me. Hello, hello. Teacher, pero ¿qué le tenemos que mencionar el contexto? No, I don't understand the question. Ok, only tips. Algunos tips de cómo uh, enviar email efectivos. No necessary that you are going to give me a... Uh... Greeting. Ok, what about that? What can you tell me about it? For, for, for example, greeting, greeting me, teacher. Saludos. Gre greeting. Ok. Uh -huh. Greeting. Mm. Nady person. Uh -huh. I yeah. don't I don't remember how the receptor. Okay, the receptor. Mm -hmm. Nady receptor. Um, okay. okay, what else? Information, information. What about the, the information? How, 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 how we are going to put it in the email? Depend, depend the case, depend, depend the, every all, case. All depend on the situation? In, in my case, information, in, in my case, information, the study. Okay. For example, they, Mm, inscription. Okay. okay. What else? And books. Native books. This okay. is in my case. Okay. What about the case? rest? What about the rest of people? What can they tell me? Teacher, yo estoy hablando porque nadie quiere hablar. Yeah, I know. I know they don't want to talk about. <clears throat> I don't know why they don't want to talk with me. Okay. 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 Uh, in order to make an effective email, we need to select in your audience correctly. And sometimes we don't we don't need to select because we need to to make contact with some important people that uh, we need. Uh, certain kind of information yeah and we need to take care of the composing your messages and make the heading meaningful keep each message short and clear and start uh, each message by stating its purpose and contents that means that we need to be really really clear about what we are trying to uh Okay, and sometimes uh, there are some problems because uh, we change the topic but without changing the subject and we need to be careful about that. Or sometimes include uh, multiple subjects or misaddress recipients, displaying addresses or recipients who are a stranger to each other But let us take a look at the structure of the email. The first one is the addressing. What is that? Somebody wants to tell me? ¿Qué es lo primero que necesitamos estar seguros al momento de enviar un email? The direction of emails. Okay, uh, the, the addressing. Okay, we need to be sure. The next step is going to be the subject. What is that? 
Maybe the, the receptor, receptor. The what? The name the receptor. In the subject? No. Es la persona, a person in receptor. Mm. No, the no. subject is no. the theme of the of the message, no? Yes, it is. We, is. Yeah, we need to take care about that because this is this is a uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, this is the main point that we need to be careful about. Yeah, after uh, write the address, we need to have clear about the subject. And then we are going to start writing the message. Yeah. And if necessary, you are going to add some attachment. And in the end, you are going to put the signature or the, I don't know, the your signature or maybe the signature of your boss or the pen or the document that you are what going is that? La, la What fear. is that? What is that number four? Number four. The okay. Attachments Teacher. son, uh, okay, hold on. Los attachments son, por ejemplo, si usted necesita, necesita juntar un uh -huh. archivo que podría ser uh, un plano, uh -huh. podría ser una lista de precios, diferentes uh -huh. cosas. Esos son los attachments. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. What else? What else do we need? Okay, when we talk about addressing uh, in the address of the recipient, we can use BCC to protect email address unless everyone knows each other. Do you know what is the meaning of this BB, BCC? What is that? Do you know what is that? Copia. Yeah, but what about the letter B? Le oculto. Blind. Le oculto. Yeah, it's, it's called blind. Carbon copy. En español sería como enviarlo así como ya dijo. Eh, para proteger la dirección. Y que todo el mundo se dé cuenta. Ok. And you are going to maintain a, an address book. As soon as you need to contact somebody. You are going to look your books. And you are going to just copy and paste in the right place. Ok. I know that you, you know how to do it. And when we talk about the subject, we need to be precise, headline for the message. Tenemos que ser preciso en el título del mensaje. May easier to handle of email. And at the same time, a boy send an email with no subject. We need to be sure about that. Evitar enviar email sin eh, el subject. Okay. What else? Okay. What about the message there? We need to keep the message focus in the readable. Uh, keep it sure. Brightly and clarity. Use paragraph. Break into paragraph. Skip line between and avoid fancy typefaces. Okay, you need to you need to take care about this because it's a really formal. What we are talking is really formal. And sometimes you are going to use uh, uh, this kind of symbols to highlight the text if you must. Yeah. If you need to call the attention, you are going to use this one and write an, an a standard professional English with uh, capitalization and correct spelling at the same time. That means that we need to know some uh, grammar rules and how you are going to do when we write an email or a letter or something like that. Okay, and we have some example. Identify yourself clearly to call contacts. Hello, I am the reason I'm writing yeah. Oh, hello. So in so suggested eye contact. No, not in that way. We need to be clear about this. And we have an example here. 
that is called per email. Why? Because if you read it, you talk about John A. Hey, how are you thinking about the meeting we have about the new workshop you were planning for the next weeks? About resume writing. I think that we may have forgotten to include all of the students who might benefit from this workshop. There are several groups of students at the School of Public Health that were not on your list. Of course, you may have added them to your list um, since our last meeting. Sarah from the School of Public Health contacted take me to ask if uh, the student from the epidemiology program were on our list and included the student. She also wanted a list of all of the included department from the School of Public Health. Can you send me a list of all of the included student groups? I can then send the relevant information on the Sara because she needs this information by tomorrow. Thanks, Rachel. What happened there in this email? What can you tell me about it? ¿Qué es lo que sucede en ese email? No, it's brief. Ah. It's much, uh, much information. Okay, a lot of information. Okay, a lot of information. Okay. Let us see the, the another one. Okay, this is gonna this is better. John, can you send me a list of the student included in the resume writing workshop by tomorrow? We may have forgotten to include all of the students who might benefit from this workshop. There are several group of students at the School of Public Health that were not on your list. Sarah from the School of Public Health contacted me to ask if the students from the epidemiology program were on our list. I will send her that information tomorrow after I get the list from you. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, this is kind of an example, but let us see something that we have in our book in order that we can get uh, more ideas about this, please. Let me see here. Okay. Still raining here in this area. Okay. In the exercise number two, uh, you are going to check which tips for writing formal email do you follow? And then we are going to compare uh, with somebody else. Just read it and check it. I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you can do it. Please do it now. Teacher, can you hear? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes teacher. we lost you a few moments. Oh, really? Yeah, it's because the rain. Uh, yes. As I told you, it's really raining. It's still raining here. Okay, yeah, uh, you are going to check all, uh, all the aspects that you consider formal. Do not use all capitals, avoid using the subject important. Use a formal salutation, be brief, express clearly what you are writing. Do not use abbreviation, do not use smiles. Okay, try to do it, please. Do not use 
juices in my mind. Beautiful man. Salutation. And you know. Teacher, what are the meaning of the uh, boy? A boy using a boy using the subject evita usar. Ah, evita. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And be brief. Be brief. Be brief. Yep. What is the meaning? Brief means something that is going to be in this way, not in this way. Brief. Ah, uh, yes. What do you What do you understand? ¿Qué comprendió con eso que dije? Un mensaje corto. Yes. We brief message. Okay, okay, okay. Alex Umberto, are you there? Alex. Alex. Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Ana, you did? Blanca. Present. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudio. Present, uh, Edwin. Edwin, no, Elmer, Elmer, it's not here. I don't know capital. I'm using this for you. Just from a good question. Francisca. Present teacher. Gonzalo. Present teacher. Eduardo. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Catherine. 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 I uh, hear Luis Alfonso. Luis, present teacher. Luis, Sorry, Man present. Luis, Luis Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, Walter. Present teacher. Jesús Ariel. Y Ramirez Galeano, Nelson, Iván. Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. Okay. Uh, now you are going to have a breakout room in order to compare your answer, please. I'm going to give you just one minute because 
none more than one minute. Okay, let us do it now. Yes, compare, please. Compare your answer. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer, teacher? A comparar sus respuestas de lo que seleccionó, a ver si por qué tienen las mismas o por qué no tienen las mismas. Mm. Ok. Do you finish? Hello. Hello. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Nadie habla. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Hola, hola, hola. ¿Qué no vamos a comparar las respuestas, pues? Hola, you are going just to check. Vas a poner un cheque. Va a poner un cheque en los tips uh, for writing in formal email. Do you follow? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cuáles de estos tips usted usa al momento de escribir un email? Ya lo hice. Okay, could you read it for me, please? Yes, Don't know you say smile, smile. Yes. Don't know you say abbreviation. You, you say a formal salut, salut, salutation. Salutation. Okay. Y, how are you using this soldier important? Ah, okay, a boy, a boy using. A boy. A boy, yeah, a boy using the subject important or oh, important, okay? Okay, somebody I want to say something about this? Me, I, I said do not use all capitals. Okay. Could, could you, could, okay, sorry. Uh, could you tell us why we don't have to use all capitals? Because it's rude. Okay. It, it, it means like, like a, you are yelling to the yes, people. Yes, it is. Uh, according mm -hmm. to etiquette, it's that way. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Okay, go ahead. Be brief. Okay, be brief. And express clearly why are you writing. Okay, nice. Excellent. That's it. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? For me, teacher, Carlos? almost, for me, almost all is correct, less one. Okay, which one? 
avoids using the subject important. Ah, okay. Sometimes no, no are important. Ah, okay. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. We, we, we the others items for me yes are important. Okay. 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 What about the rest? Are you there? Are you there? Are you sleeping now? Uh, this one in my case, uh, no use the, do not use it our capitals. Uh, the, no sé cómo se dice, just avoid using the use it important. You see a formal solution, the okay. brief. Okay. He expressed clearly with you are we writing or greeting. Okay, you can say okay. In my case, I yes. don't I don't use or I don't take into account oh. this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank okay, you. Okay, Carla. Okay, Carla. Somebody else want to share with us? Tell me. In my case, teacher, I do not use smiley. Okay. Uh, I do not use abbreviation. Abbreviation. Excellent. Okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, teacher, thank you. Teacher, a question. Teacher, okay. a question. Okay, okay, in, okay. In, 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 do not use abbreviation. Pero, se lo voy a decir en español. Okay. Pero en algunas ocasiones se pueden ocupar, como decir can, can, o sea, decir no, can not, can. Allí se puede ocupar abreviaciones, son para abreviar palabras. O sea. Yeah, when we talk about, when we talk about abbreviation, sometimes I refer to, for example, instead of say because, we use an apostrophe and we say cause. Yeah. Because the, the another one, they call it acronyms. That is something different. No hay que confundir eso. Oops, my connection of internet. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Se oye yes. la playa. Se oye la playa, teacher. Really? I don't know why, but I'm not next to the next to the the, the Spina Beach. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful beach. Yeah, but the problem is the uh, the raining, you know. Okay, okay, okay. In the number four, we have some steps how to write a formal email. And you are going to read the tips to write a formal email and classify the email below as formal or informal. That is the, the first part that you are going to work on. Please try to read it and you are going to classify it. Which one are formal and which one are informal, please. The number one say fill in the subject line with the topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. The second one include a polite salutation, e.g. dear Mr. Dear Mrs. Good morning, etc. Number three, write your main point in the opening sentence. Number four, don't use all capital or all lowercase letter. Number five, avoid abbreviation. As we were talking about this example, PLC, instead of say, please. Is that clear, Luis? 
Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ah, okay, 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 okay. We are talking about this kind of abbreviation. But no, when we are going to uh, contract some work in the, in, in the language, it's totally different. And number six, be polite. Uh, remember to write, please, and thank you. Number seven, be brief if your message is too long. Consider using an attachment. Listen this, please. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Si su mensaje es largo, considere mejor usar un archivo adjunto. Okay, number A, use a closing phrase like best regard, regards, looking forward to your comments, and etc. Add a signature blog with uh, appropriate contacts, information, your name, business address, and phone number, and email if you want. Edit and proofread before you send the message. Importantísimo editar y releer antes de enviar. Y no hasta que ya se ha enviado y dice, eso se fue. Okay? I need that you classify it as formal and informal. And tell me. Teacher, por ejemplo, informal is a voy a abreviación. Ah, ah, uh ah. -huh. Ok, continue, continue, please. Y formal is be, be pol polite. Formal es be polite, remember, remember to write, please, and thank you. Ok. Is formal. Okay. Formal formal is number two. Include a polite salut, salut, um, salutation. Mister. How do you say this air? Which one? No. There in number two. In number two, Mr. Dear, ah. dear mister. Dear mister. Dear missus. Dear missus, good morning. Dear, dear, my dear. Dear. My dear friend. Okay, let us classify the place. Informal, informal, sir, informal teacher is the number. The number three, write your main point in the opening sentence. Write your main point in the opening sentence. It's informal. Mm. It's a question, okay? Yes, it's already a question. Well, in this case, uh, remember that you need to be really brief. You need to be really brief. And, okay. that, mean, and, and that means that... Uh, you need to go directly to the point. Of course, that you are going to be polite. But in this case, if we are going to, if we are going to classify uh, some number, that does not mean that you are going to include from one to nine. Yeah. Okay. For for example, number five. Number five, if you include a uh, abbreviation, that means that it's uh, informal, right? Yes, if teacher, you, yes, it, yeah, number four, if you use all capital, it is informal. Okay? And in that way. Okay, 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 okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Okay, the letter B said for the informal email, discuss what uh what tip will be useful to make them more formal. Okay, for example, in this in the, if we talk about number five again. That means that instead of write the uh, letter P L C, we are going to write down the, the word please. Instead of use all capital letters, uh, capital or, or lower case, what we are going to do is yet at the beginning of the sentence, we are going to put a capital letter, but the rest is going to be a uh, lowercase letter, respecting all the grammar rules. Okay. Teacher. What is that? All copy, copyright. What, eh, is, escribir, what is the meaning? Escribir todo en mayúscula. <clears throat> o todo en minúscula. Ah. Ok. Tenemos que respetar okay. las reglas gramaticales que nos dicen que toda oración inicia con inicial mayúscula, que después de punto eh, inicia otra vez inicial mayúscula. We need to keep in mind all the rules. Okay, teacher, thank you. Teacher, eh, sorry, eh, se lo digo en, en español. He oído por ahí que al escribir las cosas en, en letra mayúscula, el receptor eh, siete como que se le está gritando. Is true? Is... Yes. Uh, sí, la compañera habló ya de eso y yo le hice la pregunta. Y en realidad, en cuestiones, por ejemplo, eh, digitales, a través de estos medios o a través de un email, si nosotros escribimos eh, todo en, en letra mayúscula, es como que le estemos gritando a la otra persona. Eso lo dicen las netiquetas, que así es el nombre que se utiliza eh, como parte de ese grupo de como de reglas que nos rigen la forma de comportamiento que debemos de tener en el campo virtual. Entonces, es una de las razones por las cuales no debemos eh, hacerlo de esa manera. Pero es que depende, teacher, depende del receptor, porque no todos somos auditivos. Entonces, las personas que piensan que les están gritando son las que le ponen voz a las letras. <risa> que, que dicen... Y mira lo que me, me escribió, mira cómo me escribió. ¿Ha escuchado usted? Hay personas que son así. Mira yeah, cómo me escribió. Yeah, I know, mira but... lo que escribió. Son personas que le han puesto voz a la letra y por eso piensan que la otra persona le está gritando. Yes, I understand that. that yo entiendo eso, pero eh, según las etiquetas o las reglas, dicen de que no debemos hacerlo de esa manera. Así como hay reglas eh, gramaticales, también existen reglas de comportamiento en el campo virtual. Y, y a eso se refieren las netiquetas, llamadas de esa forma. Ok. Así es que si acostumbrábamos a hacerlo así, de ahora en adelante, we are going to switch and we are going to do it in the right way. Ok. Ok, teachers, thank you. Okay, what else? For me, it's important to uh, be polite. Yeah, all the time. Remember, remember to, number six, remember to write, please, and thank you. Yes. It's really important to use that that kind of uh, words in our email. Really, really, really important. That we use it. Number, we... Uh, sorry, teacher. No, uh, number, number eight. What's the class in press light? With regard, regard. Looking for, for looking for, looking to, forward to your, to comment. your comments. Yeah. Is it very important too? Yes, it is, because it's the ending or the closing of the of, of the email. Yes, and you are going to use you are going to use one phrase like regard regards uh, 
Looking forward to your comments. Okay. Okay, what about this exercise? Take a look at this. Uh, and you are going to tell me if it is formal or informal. You are going to check it. Number one is formal. Ah, okay. We are going to check it later. You say, okay. Number sorry. two. Number, number two, two is informal. Informal. Uh -huh. Only only one one word is informal. The abbreviation. <laughs> but. <laughs> Don't forget. Yes, only only num number one is work is informal. Number number one two is informal teacher. Ah, mm. re really? Yes, really. Okay, you are going to give me your arguments about that. Mm. No included mm. the no included the mm. the sign. See you. See you maybe see you is informal. No, it's informal. <laughs> yes, in my, in, it's informal. In, see you. In my, in, in my in my in my case, it's informal because yes. no, no include. Both no. are informal. Sign. Really. Me, both are informal. Ah, okay. Okay, let, let us take a look at this. Uh, let us read the body of this, the first ones about this one. For example, right here, is there, remember we had to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the thing. See you. See you. What is this saying to you? With the vibration. Yeah. A letter. You. Ah, okay. A letter. Only, and only letter. Okay, and, ba and ba based on that, is it formal or informal? Informal. Informal, teacher. Ah, informal. Okay. Uh, and, and the next one say, Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't, formal. For don't forget the documents. This one, formal. this one is. It's informal too, teacher. It's informal too, because <laughs> we already talked that we are not going to use abbreviation in our email. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Excelente. Ya, ya vi que están despiertos todavía. <laughs> yes. Formal is when, you're, when you start eh, saludando. Miss, yeah. uh, Missy, no sé qué, así. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. This object is small. This only Saturday. Yeah, well, what is the meaning of that? We don't know. I know that you are expert to talk about this topic. And I like that. And has a grammat, no, no sé si es grammatical the word, but it Falta la don't. Where? Ah, oh, right here. It's missing the letter. Mm -hmm. the, the apostrophe and the letter T. Don't forget mm -hmm. the documents. Yes. Yeah, but some people used to do it in this way, but it's informal. Oh, really? Yeah, the problem, the problem that we have now, it is just that uh, a student, not only in junior, but also in high school and sometimes in universities, they are writing in this way because of the mass medias. La mayoría, la mayoría de estudiantes eh, en español están eh, como que eh, diríamos que mal usando eh, las palabras y escribiendo de formas cortas que al final solo ellos entienden. <laughs> sí, y in, al... in, in WhatsApp, in WhatsApp, teacher, in WhatsApp se mira mucho eso. Sí, eso es muy cierto. 
en we need pero to antes se okay. pero antes se miraba más en el correo electrónico antes era peor sí lo que se ha perdido ahora son las tildes ya casi nadie escribe con tildes imagínense y comas bueno yo no sé ajá y comas okay. at least at least in English we don't have uh, any kind of tildes mm -hmm. ya yeah. Esa es la ventaja, por eso me gusta el inglés porque no tiene tildes. Solo, oh, tiene, solo tiene que ver eh, eh, la sílaba tónica. Ya, donde va la mayor fuerza de voz. Y no necesito estar poniendo tildes porque en, en español tenemos una clasificación que las palabras esdrújulas, que graves, que agudas, que tanta cosa, ¿no? Ya, Los fue... verbos cambian. Yeah, for me, it's, it's really sure. difficult for the reason I... What about the, the, what about the exceptions on English? <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah, some, some time, but uh, <laughs> if, if you keep in mind, if you uh, learn, learn it by heart, uh, it's not going to be a problem. We need to keep in mind. Okay, let me see somebody appear in this class. Let me check out the attendance again, please. I need to be with two computers because suddenly the power is not working right in the right way. Okay, Carlos. Carlos Antonio. Carlos, 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 me, are you me. are you are you there, Carlos? Okay, let me see. Somebody's missing. Out. Okay, I got it. Alex. Hello, Alex. Present teacher. Okay, Alex. Ana Beatriz is there. Ana Judith is there too. Okay, Blanca Elizabeth. Okay, me too, Blanca. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. I'm here, present. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Present. Um, Claudio. Present, teacher. Edwin Balmore. Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. No apareció. Elmer. Elmer. Present, Elmer. teacher. Ah, oh, he's there. I know that we are tired today, you know. Okay, Francisca is there too. Gonzalo. Yes. Okay, Gonzalo. Uh, Jose Eduardo. Eduardo, okay. Uh, Carla Marisol. I know that you, you are there. Carla. Hello, Carla. Okay, uh, Catherine. 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 No. Luis Alfonso. Luis Manuel. Present teacher. Present teacher. Walter. Present teacher. Ariel and Nestor. I don't know, but I, 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 I feel some noises like um, it is raining really, really hard in some places that you are living. I don't know why. O será una interferencia que estoy oyendo, pero. Vale. Por acá está lloviendo fuerte, quisiera. Quizás eso hace que está la interferencia. Sí, se puede oír hasta acá. Be careful, be careful about it, please. We need to be careful. Okay. Let's 
x sign on the phi. Let me see. Let me see x sign on the phi. We need to solve x sign on the phi. Okay, we'll. Okay. In order, in, in order to continue, we are going. You are going to write down an email. And let me show you. Let me show you what you are going to do. Okay, you are going to write uh, down a professional email. Uh, could be to a coworker. And we are going just to take into account the thread line that you need to write down an email. Yeah. Okay, how you are going to do it? If you want, I can uh, share with you. Let me see. Only the part that you are going to take into account too. Right here, you are going to be CCs, the subject and the body and the firewall that you are going to use it. Okay. Do you understand? Okay, is that clear what you are going yeah. to do? Okay, it's gonna be in I write, I write in, the email. Yeah, in email. It's going to be a, a individual because yeah. uh, if I accept you to work in group, uh, we don't have enough time in the in the breakout room. And for the reason you need to do it uh, alone, please try to get your notebook and start writing something. Later on, we are going to share with the rest of the class, please. Okay, go ahead and try to do it now.
Bueno. Kimba. Your microphone teacher, please. Teacher. Hello, hey. every time that the, the power uh, blink, uh, I got problem with my microphones. I don't know why. Every time that cada vez que tienen la energía un bajón, siempre me, me, me mutea el, el micrófono. Thank you, sir.
Okay, as I told before, in this moment, a student are writing an email, and then we are going to compare with some classmate in order to see if they are following some rules in order to do it. Do you finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, before uh, we share it, before we share it, uh, I would like to reinforce some information that I need that you take into account. For example, let me see if you're able to see this picture that I have here. Can you see it very well? What's, yes, going, what's going on here? Okay, okay. In the number one, when, when we talk about greetings, we can use dear sir, so madame. And yeah. sometime in this case, it's really difficult to write down this to whom to whom it may concern. But but we need to be careful about this kind of expression because uh Every time that we are going to write down an email, we need to know exactly the person where we are uh, addressing to. ¿Saben lo que significa esto? De to, whom, to whom it may concern. Yes. Okay. ¿A quién me concierne? ¿A quién interese? ¿A quién interese? When you give a recommendation or something like that. Okay. ¿A quién le importe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, dear Mr. or Mrs. John, or dear uh, Dr. Smith, okay, I hope that you apply. And the second one is the reason for writing and replying. I know maybe it's going to be kind of... Sure, I, I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh, okay, it, tell me. A que, en, a que interese. Yep. Porque, porque lleva una M y no lleva solo U. To whom, mm -hmm. to whom it may mm -hmm. concern, a quien. Pero, because, pero yo he visto quien y M, solo who, yes, who is. Yeah, yes, of course it is. Uh, when we talk about grammar, how can I say? The, the word whom, sometimes uh, we don't use it a lot. Casi no usamos whom. 
pero si usted observa uh, en el su diccionario, eh, uh, aparece como a quién. Ya, yeah? en this case, we are going to use it in this way: to whom it may concern. Mm. As a rule. Okay. Okay. At least that you are going to ask a question, you are going to use this one. And later on in the next level, maybe uh, somebody is going to explain you. No, no, estoy traduciendo. Estoy... The, the, the grammar focus of these two words. Okay. Uh, right here, we, I was talking about the reason for writing. And you can say I'm writing to like, make a reservation, like, no. to apply for the position of, to confirm my booking, to ask for further information Ahorita. about. With a reference to our telephone conversation on Friday, I would like to let you know that, and you can. Yeah, yeah, estoy aquí, pues, estoy aquí con, con el compadre aquí, con Colocho, ya nos recibió, ya estamos, ya estamos seguros aquí, ya estamos en la casa. Okay, okay, mute your microphone, please. Yeah, thank you. Mute thank your you microphone, mute your microphone, please. Okay, uh, let me see what else we have here. Okay, number three, making a request or asking for information. You can say, could you please let me know if you can attend, if you are available for a meeting on 12th December. It's an example. Could you possibly arrange a meeting with the logistic manager? I would also like to know if there are any swimming pool in your area. Yeah. Okay. We are going to use this kind of vocabulary in order to talk about. Okay. What about offering help, giving information? We are happy to let you know that your article has been selected for publication, for example, could be. I am glad to inform you that will be holding our annual conference in Brazil on 20 September, 2014. Yeah, something that already happened. Should you need any further information, assistant, please do not hesitate to contact us. No dude en contactarnos. Okay, what else? What about if you are going to complain about something? Complain. Yeah. Do you know what is a complaint, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I am writing to express my Está quejando. dissatisfaction <laughs> with to complain about. I regret to say that I was not completely satisfied with the room you provide us. If you are talking about a room in a hotel, or you can say I would like to receive a few refunds and compensation for the damage. Okay. But we need to be polite. Okay, what about apologizing? We would like to apologize for any inconvenience cause. Please accept our apologies for the delay. Please let us know uh, what we can do to compensate you for damages caused. Or we will make sure that this will not happen again in the future. Imagine that uh, you're supposed to send some product to one client and for some problem you didn't do it, you need to send an email and, and inform him what is happening. Okay, what about attaching files? You can say I'm attaching my CV for your consideration. You already know what is a CV, right? Yes. Okay. Curriculum vitae. I, I am I'm sending you the brochure of an attachment. Please see the statement attached. Uh, please find attached. Defy you requested. And the last one is the ending or the closing formula. I look for. Yeah. You can say, I look forward to hearing from you. You're faithfully, when you start with dear, sirs, or madame, you are going to use that. Yours, 
sincerely when you start with the name uh, dear Mrs. Colin yeah you are going to say in that way and now is the time that we are going to share what you have wrote okay and as soon as the person finished reading you are going to give some advices if you want remember that if you are going to give advices you are going to use the word should you should do this you shouldn't do that okay we started that topic yesterday who okay who want to be the third one who wants to start doing this please i want to share with you one that i sent a few days ago and i wasn't very sure oh, okay go ahead wait i have to find it I don't know if you are able to share it with the rest of the class. If you mm -hmm. have it, if you have it in a uh, in in mm -hmm. Microsoft Word or something like that, in order no, that. No, it's, it's in my in my cuenta de correo. Ah, okay, it's okay, to... okay. It's a private. Okay. Uh, I I wrote this. I'm good morning. I'm trying to print the ex the nombre no lo pongo, ¿verdad? certificate of the name of the person she took the course in san salvador y la fecha verdad okay okay and she passed it okay when i click the link of payments appears this and i put an, an image okay and also if i go on create an account it asks me for key name and i don't have it okay. so i need to know if you could help me to get it in la pregunta okay 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 thanks i look forward for your answer okay. Está bien. yeah i consider that is right because you mentioned uh the main point that you are requesting your maybe your diploma at the end mm -hmm. of, the, of the course that you uh, started right and mm -hmm. you you are very clear because you are uh, explaining then uh, all the steps that you have followed and uh, you didn't find your your diploma that usually happened I uh, the last year I was studying in a university in the United States online for score in, in Maryland and at the end I, I was uh, attending TESOL training and in the end when I finished mm -hmm. uh, after a month I was trying to get my diploma and then send me an email and they say okay you need to look in this uh, link you are going to click on and uh, in the end you are going to print it and I was doing uh, everything all the steps and in the end, I, I was I was in, uh, able to do it, to get it. And later on, th three days later, they sent me another email just apologizing because they make a mistake. Mm -hmm. But at the end, I, 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 I got it. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to share, share with me? Like, I'd want to know if look like is writing for someone that knows or, or someone like is like with that like ours that we are uh, learning mm, well sometimes uh all depend because there is a person in share in this case for example to send all the diplomas if we are talking about diplomas but suddenly uh they may mistake too they get confused and mix some addresses and some links. And for that reason, it's uh, sometimes difficult for them. I don't know if you clear my, my answer about your question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, somebody else want to share the email? Hello. 
Hello, hello, hello. Teacher, yo compartí el mío en el grupo de WhatsApp. Oh, really? Let me try to see if this, my example is the name, I guess. Let me see my example. Okay, could you read it, please? Uh, to friend, um, dear friend, remember all the intent to yeah. make a good email as they are important to convey a um, me message well. Best okay. Guar, Carlos Escobar. Okay, all the items to make a good email as they are important to convey a message. Really well, best reward, Carlos Escobar. To friend, okay, 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 okay. Somebody, I need that you take a look at the, the address. Somebody, I need that somebody tell me it is right or wrong. Tell me, por favor, vean la dirección de correo electrónico and, and give me an, uh, if, if we are going to give an advice to Carlos or not. Excuse me. Okay, I am inviting uh, the rest of the class in order to take a look at your email. Especially in the address that you wrote it there. I need that you take a look of it, please. Is that right or something is missing? Hola, veamos la dirección de correo. ¿Está bien o le hace falta algo? ¿O qué me dicen? Did that con. Ah, ya se me durmieron. El mismo corrigió su error. <laughs> Yo se los puse por ejemplo. No, I know, ¿verdad? I know. Pero no I me know. lo descubrieron. <laughs> yes. The problem is the son of the, the participants are eating. That way uh, they didn't talk. Por eso no hablaron porque están ocupados. It's informal. It's informal. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, we need to be careful about that, okay? Um, but what, what about the, the subject item uh, for exam? Is that right? Hello. No, ya se me durmieron. Okay, Carlos, thank you for sharing with us this email. Okay, somebody I want to do it, please. We have time for all of you now. What about Luis Manuel? Do you want to share with us your email, please? Luis. Luis. Manuel o Alfonso? No, Luis Manuel. Yo creo que se durmió. Si no responde en tres segundos, se durmió. Luis. Ajá, uh -huh. no, I don't see it. Ok, Walter Vialta. Walter has some problem with uh, his camera. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Okay, he's there. Could you read your email, please? Um, eh, a, a medias lo tengo, teacher, que me está costando un poco con ah, el inglés. Ajá, estaba <laughs> haciendo otra cosa. Ajá. <laughs> es que tuve un apagón del internet y se volvió a recargar otra vez. Ah, okay, okay. Le vamos a dejar que recargue. Let us see somebody else. 
Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. Hello. Will you share with us uh, your email, please? Sure. Uh, to um, Sandra at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, CC, uh, the copy, is for uh, a group in the company. Is a group is be at uh, at gmail.com. Uh, the subject is report for drivers, and the context is hi, uh, their supervisor. Don't forget, send me uh, the report around all the drivers in Salvador. Please send in PDF and, and send tomorrow. See you soon. And that is okay. <laughs> That's all. Ok, advices, advices. Veamos qué dicen los demás. Si se despertaron o siguen sleeping. I know because the weather maybe you feel like kind of sleeping. Yeah, we need to wake up. Is that right? Or, or we need to switch, some, uh, we need to rearrange something. What do you think? Hello. For me, it's okay. Okay. Could you, could you read the last line, please? Carlos? Hello. Sorry, hello. Could, could you read the last line? The last line, please. I hear uh, some. The last line. See you soon. Bye bye. And in the previous one? The previous, uh, don't forget, send in PDS format. Don't mm. forget, okay, listen. Don't forget. Send in PDF format. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that right or, or not? Send it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't forget. Don't forget. We are missing some. No <laughs> Read it again, please. Don't forget. Yes. Don't forget sending PDF format. Ah, okay. Don't forget now, but but now you say in a different way, I guess. Or maybe I heard in a in a in a different way. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, because we need <laughs> we need to be clear for that. Don't no, forget. But... Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't forget to send it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll send it. Yeah, infinitive. Sometimes we need to be careful about it. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody else, please. Not sending. Oh. Not sending. Okay, Acuérdeme so. por qué sending, sending. No, no, no. What, what I was trying to, lo que le estaba diciendo a él es que le, era mejor usar un infinitivo. ¿Por qué? Yeah. It is because don't forget to send it. Uh -huh. In PDF. In this case. Teacher, is, is for two bears. Is separate two bears. Forget he sent. What do you mean by by, by, by two bears? Mm, mm, he says don't forget to send. No, he said okay. don't don't forget sending. He said. Mm. 
Ok. Él, él, así, él dice, don't forget sending, ¿ya? Yeah? But, the the, the, but now the question is, we need to use an ing or an infinitive. What do you think? Yo hubiera puesto send it. Okay. In, in my case, forget to send it. Pero creo que es send, sending it, algo así. Yeah, we need to read all, all the whole expression in order to... to a, a fin de oír, de oír uh, toda la expresión para, para escucharla, para ver cómo se oye, si se oye bien o no. Sometimes uh, it works, but sometimes we need to follow uh, grammar rules. No es cuestión de que se oye bonito, pero que no. A veces las reglas son las que son las que cuentan. Uh -huh. Yep. And there are some some words that we uh, we use ing after the st st study there is they are called it's like uh, lie. Uh, I love singing, I like eating, yeah, we use it in that way. Okay. Okay, somebody else want to say something? Uh, or share with us uh, your email, please? Teacher. Hello. Um, my working. Uh, send some much emails. Um, oh. um, for example, the Laurel arroba, no sé cómo se dice, American Honda dot com. Uh, order clearing. Uh, Es un email eh, simple, pero directo. <laughs> ok. Eh, and, and, and do you know how to say arroba? It's, it's arroba. At, at. Sorry? At. At. Ah, ok. Laurel at AmericanHonda.com. Yes? Ok. Eh, Good morning, please tell us when the order is ready to coordinate the collection. I want your broken replay. This regard. <laughs> Normalmente se escribe, escribo los correos así, así como se lo mostré la vez pasada. Son bien cortos, pero son como bien directos. Me avisan cuando ya esté mi pedido. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. And you consider there are formal o informal? In my case, formal. Ok. No? According to what we have studied, yeah, we need to follow the rule that has to be brief. Tenemos que seguir la regla que sea corto, sí. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about Don Luis Alfonso? He he said that only as yes, his secretary is the one in chair to write down email for that reason. We are not in, we are not going to ask him any question about emails because we need the secretary and she's sleeping now, you know. Okay, no problem, Don Luis. I only use the, the, the email t-shirt. Ah, okay, 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 yes, okay. Yes. Yeah, I am. Address, address Elizabeth at gmail.com. Recipient, Miss Elizabeth. Subject, advice, or opinion. Dear Elizabeth, please don't forget the meeting we have programmed for 
tomorrow in the President Hotel at the six at nine. I waited for you. This regard, this unfortunate. Okay. Okay, somebody else. Let me see. What about you, Anna? You did? Are you there? Do you want to share with us your email? Me, teacher, Alex. Oh, okay, let's do it, Alex, and, and then Anna, you did. Okay. Same uh, to Carla at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, subject meeting important. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. Dear, dear Mrs. Carla, tomorrow we have an, a meeting in Hotel President at 8 o'clock. Okay. I see you. Thank you. I'll let you copy. That's it. Luis. Y casi no he estado en la reunión porque ha tenido unos problemitas aquí familiares que resolver, fíjate. <laughs> Pero I got it. <laughs> ah, ok. I got it, the idea. Mm, the, idea. idea the idea, the idea, the idea, yeah. ok. Ok. Don Luis, is it right or, or, or are you going to give an advice to him? What do you think? In the case of Alex. Yeah, yes, yes, your friend Alex. It's right, teacher. It is right? Yes. Okay, okay. If you say that is right. Okay, más te vale, Luis. We are going to live in that way. But remember, we, you need to take care about the, the grammar because sometimes you miss uh, some words and we don't have to do that. We need to be really clear. Okay, Ana Judith Portillo, teacher? are you there? Somebody say, teacher, who is it? Hello, I'm here. Uh, teacher, uh, only uh, I have a observation, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> sorry. And the subject, uh, change the, the order of work, uh, important email. For example, ah, uh, uh -huh. I asked Don Luis, and he said it is right. And we have studied that we, that, that we are not going to put the word important. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know. But 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 we need to take care about this short expression. Jesus, what is that? Bitcoin. It's a movie or so what? Okay, Anna Judith, are you ready? <laughs> Hello, Anna Judith, are you ready? Just tell us yes or not. Nope. No? Casi, casi no se le oye. Okay, what well, was kind of uh, difficult to hear you very well. Maybe my my internet connection is not working right. I apologize for that because um, I wasn't able to hear you exactly all your words, but I got only just a few words. I don't know if somebody wants to say something, if you hear it better than me, 
you can tell me what do you think about this email? Yeah, I'm having problem with my internet connection. I don't know. Because it's still raining here in this area. As soon as I finish my class, the raining is going to stop too, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, okay. Okay, in order to finish this day, uh, todos los que no han participado, you are going to give me a tip on how to write an email, please. I don't need to mention your name, but you already know. Please, uh, enciendan sus cámaras todos, por favor, because uh, we are going to finish and we need to see your faces para ver si no están dormidos. Ah, ahí están, sí. Algunos están con la luz apagada para que no se les vea la cara. Ajá. Ay, gacho, ay, gacho. What about Francisca? Elizabeth. Blanqueta. Francisca, are you there, Francisca? Where are you? Aquí estoy, Alex. No, F -F Blanca. La Blanca is dark. Here. Very dark. <laughs> yeah. Okay, somebody's missing. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to call by list your name, but as soon as I finish, I need that you start giving me some tips that you remember in order to write down some emails. Let me get it where I have it. Because I need to to be sure that all of you are here and I don't want to make mistake because it's going, going to affect you. Carlos, let me see. Okay, Alex. Alex. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Judith. Ana Judith. Present. <laughs> Okay, se le oye bien lejos. Blanca. Present. Okay, present. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos Alfredo. Present, sorry. Mm. I have mute. <laughs> okay. Carlos Antonio. Present. Eh, Claudio. Present. Edwin. Edwin no apareció hoy. Elmer. Present. Ok, thank you. Uh, Francisca Elizabeth. Is there, is there, is there. Francisca. Hello. Ah, oh, she's sleeping, maybe. Ah, Francisca va en el segundo sueño ya, teacher. Yes, no maybe. Póngale falla. <laughs> Póngale cero. <laughs> ok, uh, Gonzalo. Present teacher. Eh, Eduardo. Present teacher. Ok, Carla Marisol. Present. Eh, Catherine. 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 I don't see Catherine. Luis Alfonso. Sí, present teacher. Luis Manuel. Present teacher. Walter. Present teacher. Uh, Jesús Ariel. Me apareció. And uh, Néstor Iván. Néstor. You are the listener, Néstor. Bueno, se me durmió en los laureles, Néstor. Ok, uh, in order to finish, just uh, only, yeah, let me see two or three people that tell me, that tell me some tips that we can use in order to write some email. Yeah, ok. Just to, rem just to remember. Solamente uno hable y después el otro y después el otro y ya.
Who want to say something about this? Solo son unos dos tips que me van a, a recordar uh, que los que usamos para escribir email. Okay, tell Don't me. Use Don't use capital, capital letter. Okay, okay. Don't use capital letter. What else? ¿Qué más? Ah, no anotaron, no anotaron. By abbreviation. What, what, what happened with the abbreviation, sir? Tell me. Please. We, we, we have to use it or not? Tell me. No, 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 to not use. Avoid, avoid a profession. Ah, okay. No use. Okay. okay. One more, please. The structure of email. What happened that with the structure? The structure of the mail. Okay. Under scene, subject, messenger, text, attachment, signature. Ah, you are mentioning the part of the email. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent. You have to be brief. Okay. What else? Somebody else, please. For me, I like the eating, edit yeah. and profit, profit before you send the mesh, the mess. Uh, the, 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 mess. Revisar, the revisar el mensaje antes de enviarlo. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. Do not use uh, smiling. Do not use. Use smiling. Ah, okay. Smiling. Okay. That means that we are not going to send emojis in emails. Okay. Don't send emojis. Okay. According to my list uh, for today, uh, I need to talk with Walter. But I, I think that Walter was yesterday with me. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Okay, Carla Marisol, are you there, Carla? Carla? Carla Marisol. En español, usted ya tuvo sus 10 minutos de asesoría or not? Carla. She is going to church. Ah, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't see, I don't okay. see her. Ana, you did? I already talked with you. Yes or not? Yes, yeah, but we talked last week. Okay. Um, Harrison is not here. Alex, Humberto, I already talked with you. Right now, not to chair. No? No, right now, no. You don't want to do it now? Right now, no, because I, I, I need to speak to my family. Okay, okay, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Go and speak with them and resolve everything, you know? Okay. Uh, Luis Alfonso, are you there? Uh, teacher, uh, I... Ah, you already talked with me too, right? Sería la segunda, ya estuve una vez con... Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Okay, Luis Manuel... Luis Manuel is there. Luis. Hello, Luis. It's not there, okay. And Francisca Elizabeth Martinez is there, but is sleeping. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to explain something some extra information at the end of the class in order that you can watch it in the video. Thank you very much. I know that is uh, now it's like, uh, well, it's late for you, yeah, for me too. And, and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow and try to 
to read your books and we are going to talk tomorrow about a new topic, okay? Okay. Okay. See you. Okay. okay. See you. See you. See you. And don't, don't see you tomorrow. Don't, Good night, everybody. Don't forget to resolve all the exercises in the platform, please. Si la plataforma les da problema, traten de revisar el, eh, el servicio de internet porque algunas veces, eh, bueno, por este lado está fallando demasiado. Lo que no falla es la factura, pero el servicio, sí. Así es que, take a look at that, please. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, see you. Bye, bye. Bye. Ok. Empezando por el frontal. Ahora el hueso maxilar superior. Francisca, Elizabeth, are you there? Hello. Okay, this day the person that was assigned in order to have the 10 minutes uh, was yesterday because um, the person that was assigned uh, yesterday, uh, he doesn't continue participating in this uh, module. For the reason we make a switch and for the, this for this day, some of them have uh, some problem that they need to solve. But um, as soon as you watch this video, I need that you remember all the steps that we need to follow in order to write effective emails. And don't forget that you don't have to use abbreviation and you don't need to write down everything with capital letter. And also uh, we need to avoid using the word important as I show in the presentation that I have. And I need that uh, we need pay real uh, important attention to all the aspects that we talk with about it because um, I would like to show you uh, again all the steps that we follow in order to remember exactly what we are going to keep in mind because in that way you are going to learn it. That is the main purpose. What we are trying to help you that you keep in mind. Let me show you this slide again in order that you get, can keep in mind, please. Okay, we were talking about this. This is like kind of review because I need that you understand exactly what we are talking about. These are the steps that we are going to follow in order to write for my email. Uh, we need to fill in the subject line with the topic relevant to your recipient and not just document important. And something else that we need to include a polite salutation like uh, dear Mr, dear Mrs, good morning, etc. Remember that all the time we are going to be polite and we are going to uh, write uh, your main point in the opening sentence too because we don't, uh, we are not going to have a, a long time that the people stay reading. And we are not going to use capital or write everything in all lowercase case letter. And as I told before, we are going to avoid abbreviations like PLC, like please and 
so on because uh, we are talking about formal emails and that means that we need all the, the, the people in share of receiving this email uh, understand exactly what we are trying to uh, or what we are uh, sending them. Okay, we need to be polite and we are going to write please and thank you. We are going to be brief and in the message. And if we consider that the message is too long, we are going to use an attachment to put it there. And also we are going to use a closing phrase like uh, best regards, uh, looking forward to your comments and etc. And at the end, we are going to add a sandwich block with uh, an appropriate contact information that we can supply. And we are going to edit and proofread before uh, you send the, the, the message. It's really important to check, to check it before I uh, send it. Okay, uh, I believe that keeping in mind all these uh, tips, everything is going to be fine. I want to thank you uh, for your attention and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye, see you later.